Hey my YouTube family, I'm Master Arcanine and welcome back to more Let's Play Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we completed the second slope of Sand Mountain and we ended off early, like 8 minutes I think. And in this episode, we're, be we're gonna be going to the third slope. Alright, so let's just go. Kill this guy, get some free money. Money! 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 Uh, starting off an epic. Starting off an episode, and I don't have anything to say. Larry, we haven't seen you since, like, I think Goo Lagoon. Oh, if you want to get that stone tiki right here, you have to kill two of these shit tikis. So this thing, mega combo. Okay, let's go. Right off the start, here's a bounce pad thingy, springboard, that'll give you a shortcut. And at the end of this, Special shortcut path, there is a sock. Out of all these slopes, I think this one is the hardest. Okay, it's another shortcut up here. There's a Texas icon up there, but we have to do it with Sandy. Because up there is another sock, but we can only get with Sandy. I'll follow that snowball and it'll create a special secret passage that you can go in. Wait, what? Now what I like to do is <coughs> go on this left path, then when I hop down I break all those tiki's. Oh god, we only have 30 seconds. Oh no, it's all the way over there, what if I don't make it in 23 seconds? Uh, yes! Whoa, oh god. Load. Sorry if I'm not talking right here, I'm eating a sandwich.
Also, don't think I forgot, we still have the other two socks. Yeah, because, same man, we have two socks left. I'll take this back just because I feel like it. And I think I missed a purple shiny object back in Bubble Buddies, uh, thing. Eh, I'll forget about it. Okay, so like right here, uh, there was that other springboard. Right there. Uh, make sure you hit that snowball and then go back and get that text icon. And forget about that snowball because it'll still create that path. Okay, so Lasso, you're all the way over here. Lasso, you're all the way over here. That That's the best grammar I've ever seen. Ever, ever heard? I cannot speak today. Whee! Okay, so now we got that other sock. Now for this sock, you want to go in that secret passage that that snowball created. If you're wondering what those sounds were, those were like other snowballs that are dropping on the ground, breaking them. And here's our last sock. There. Why don't I complete this just for you guys' enjoyment and for the time? of the video. Super Ultra Combo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh God. Let's take the left path. Take the right path. Super monster combo. And I love this music. I love how it plays afterwards. Wait, what? Let me try that again where she's actually looking at it. Alright, let's just go back. So now we have Sad Mountain completed. So now can you go back, so it's just one talk to Squidward, see what he has to say. Now, I have no idea where Patrick is supposed to be right there. I don't think anyone's able to find him. I never tried to, and I don't think I can. GameCube Dude 200 said like he used the cruise bubble move to look around for Patrick to see if he can find it, but he couldn't. Let's see if he's back here. Ah, oh, dang it. 
I'll, I'll just go back. It's already been 10 minutes. Are you kidding me? Okay. Give some shiny outfit to Mr. Krabs. Industrial Park. First off, uh, that kick me here isn't even a button, it's just some sign, but it's with the weakness, weak point or something. Okay, so here's how you beat him, like, he's gonna do this spinning attack where he shoots all this, like, stuff from his ice cream, and then he's gonna fall dizzy. What you have to do is get behind him and then shoot a bubble ball at him. If you're somehow lucky, you, like, if you're Spongebob, you can, uh, on the first three hits, you can uh, get behind him and then hit him with a spin attack. Let me try. Yep, it does work.
Okay, so what's gonna happen here? To my sending, these crates will come out of nowhere. So what you have to do is stand on them and then kick them right while standing on them. Then he's gonna like pull down some like lever thingy, which will bring down all this like nuclear waste, I think. Come on! Okay, I need underwear. Hey, you decide to do it, not me. Not him. Okay, now... Wait, what? Where's this fisherman coming from? Where's he even speaking from? Is he behind that bench back there or something? Ah! How is this boss giving me so much pain? Okay, now let's go. <clears throat> How is he holding that? Now he has his freeze breath. You want to make sure he doesn't freeze you. Wait, what? By the way, there's some weird thing that happens. Like, whenever you try to bowl it, it doesn't work sometimes. Oh, oh wait, what? Oh, do you have to do it like, uh, fully charge? Wait, that didn't count as a hit? What? Okay, at least it doesn't start the whole thing over. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You want to do it like a full um, charge shot using the bubble ball. Because if you don't do it fully charged, it's probably not going to hit him. Or even hurt him.
done, yes! I like how you make this Patrick sound. Ew. Spongebob. sock you can get back here, bubble bowl this thing, and there's the sock. bubble. So basically when you're not moving, press or hold the L button and then you'll make a bubble which you can steer through the air to attack stuff from the distance. Let me try it on on something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah! Like that. That's what the cruise bubble is. Uh... What can we do now? I don't want to start the next level here. I don't want to start the next level right now. Ooh, is that a purple shiny object? Like how the purple shiny object look. Get out of the way. Look, look at them. I just love how they look on my iPad compared to the one on the TV. Because on the, my iPad, they look darker. And they just look so much more beautiful. Whereas on the TV, they're lighter and not that beautiful. What about the green? The greens look okay too. But the purple ones, they are so much more beautiful. I mean, look at that. There's no way you wouldn't fall in love with that color. What to do now? Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, so now that we have the cruise bubble... The bubble bowl... And the bubble bath... Well, I guess you want that included. Uh, we can go back to, uh, Bikini... Downtown Bikini Bottom and Jellyfish Fields to get 
enjoyed the thrills, we still have two socks to get, and downtown bikini bottom, we still have one golden spatula and one sock to get. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, so we have that, so why don't we go do that? Uh, let's go do the jellyfish field one, since we haven't gone to that in a while. Ah, this music. Why are you still here? By the way, I don't think I ever showed that glitch that you can do. So basically what you can do is like you can hop on over to the ground and you can jump onto this thing. Yeah, it's really weird. You can. And for some reason, Hans won't come. I believe you can make it out onto that one. Yeah, you can. What? Never mind. Okay, let's just go. Boulder, die. Alright, there's our first sock target. The bubble bowl. Let's see if we can land on the button. Ah, But Mub needs to know the bubble bowl is moving in order to play this game. So what you have to do is stand on this and then bowl strike. Oh come on! Wait, if I die will it reset? Wait, what? I think that's a glitch or something. He gets naked whenever he dies sometimes. Okay, yes, they reset. Actually, get straight on. Yes! Okay, the next one we have to go to is drain the lake. This one we have to switch to Spongebob. And now I can show you guys that shortcut that I said GameCube Dude 200 showed. Discover it. What you're supposed to do actually is pick up these tiki's and throw them over there. But well, this is what you can do. Jump up onto that tiki. And jump onto the top tiki. And wait slowly and then jump over. Mega Monster. Also, another fun thing the cruise bubble can do. They can actually destroy the stone tiki's. Die! I'm a murder machine! Ha ha! I'm murdering all these tiki's! Okay, so you want to come up here and kill this douche. Kill him! There! I'm about to come back here later when he knows the cruise bubble move. So for this one, what you have to do is stand on this button. 
and then five floating tiki's will come out. What you want to do is kill all of them with the cruise bubble. Say hello to my little friend. Also, whenever you hold the L button, you can move the camera out to see where you want to throw the cruise bubble move at. So basically, I move you around. If I want to throw it this way, I can shoot it that way. Like that. So you can move the camera to sh so you can throw the cruise bubble like wherever it's going over spacing. Yeah! Sock! This is the final sock in Jellyfish Field. So Jellyfish Field is 100% complete. Alright, let's go back to Bikini Bottom. Let's just skip travel. Yeah, you can use the taxi in the menu to go back. It's so weird. You can. I don't think I ever explained that. So for this one, you wanna, or actually, I believe you can do it right here. If you're somehow skilled, you can. Get out of here! Ah, dang it. There, yeah, you can do it on this side. It's kind of difficult. And you can see there's a Texas icon right there. So that means you want to come back here with Sandy. Sixty-two. Just die. Now we can go back and switch to Sandy. Remember that south door? Well, now we have it. More beautiful purple shiny objects. Look at that! Oh no, I think I screwed up. No, get away. What is happening? There. Look at that beautifulness. And now the south door is finally open. So now we can go back in here whenever we want. Wait, what? Hey, there's a button right here. Let's try and hit it. Oh, that's how the button was pressed. Alright, let's, let's just go back. <clears throat> okay, guys, so... We got a lot of stuff done in this episode, okay? I think we're gonna end off here, okay? Alright guys, so next time on <clears throat> SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we're gonna go to the next stage. Oh wait, let me see something real quick before we end it off. Oh no! Kelp Forest, no! Kelp Forest is my number one 
hated level in this game. Oh, man. Well, guys, next time, you're gonna see me go through my most hated level in this game, okay? You guys are gonna love me seeing me getting tortured. Because, remember in the Mermelair, uh, there were those two annoying golden spatulas, the cylinders, and the ball. I said there were three in total. Well, guess what? The number one most annoying gold spatula in this game, in my opinion, is in this level. Alright? So you guys are gonna love seeing me getting tortured, okay? Alright? So, next time on Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we're gonna go into Kelp Forest, okay? See you guys then. God.